With great joy, I now introduce my classmate and my friend, Regina McLean, to share with you her own personal experience at Chesterton Academy. Regina has been an inspiration to all of us at school through her love for music, her family, and most importantly, her love for the Lord. Please welcome Regina McLean. Good evening. My name is Regina McLean, and I'm a senior at Chesterton Academy. A few weeks ago, I was skating with my siblings in our little backyard rink. We went along, singing tightrope from The Greatest Showman, and floated. I with my small, slow strides, and my sister Margaret with her long, bold ones. Watching her, I decided to take a chance and skate with greater audacity. I told myself I did not care if I fell. And I did fall once or twice, <laughs> but always came back up singing that song with these relevant lyrics. Will you catch me if I should fall? Because I was not afraid to fall, my skating became all the swifter and more enjoyable because I felt more alive and in the moment. It then occurred to me in a little thought, is this not what we're meant to be all our lives? People living the great adventure, always leaping and trusting that God will catch us? As a student at Chesterton Academy, I'm ever awakened to this call to lay aside my fears and leap with all my might, trusting with all firmness that God will be there to catch me. I hear this call daily through the voices of my friends. They are unceasingly honest with me, and this always urges me to be honest with others and myself. In their faith, they are always pointing me to the Lord one day, I received a surprise. I was in the narthex of Holy Trinity Church, talking with one of the teachers when I felt someone touch my arm. I whirled around to see Mrs. Podzerwinski standing there, and Marie Therese, and hear Mrs. Podzerwinski ask, guess who made it to all state? I have always loved music, so this hit me with a shock of delight. Our little school of, 59, of 79 students was sending three of us to state for chorus. I forgot all else in that moment to give Marie Therese a huge hug. Then we both exclaimed, I can't believe it, and hugged again. We were both squealing, so the teachers had to quiet us down. <laughs> then Marie Therese suggested, come on, let's go thank the Lord. And with that, we entered the church together and stood before the statue of St. Therese to offer our thanksgiving. My friends at Chesterton never cease to fill me with wonder. Because they have faith, the world is hard pressed to find. The name of God is on the lips of so many people I encounter at Chesterton. We frequently ask for prayers from one another. We truly build one another up. I had never dreamed that in my high school classroom, I would drink in insights into the spiritual life. We have discussed the reasons why not all men are happy and have debated which is better, to know God or to love him. Even history classes mingle with theology when Mr. Fairman brings up joy and the cross a theme he not only teaches, but professes with his life. I am constantly overwhelmed by the strength of faith which surrounds me. I am also called to the great adventure through the experiences which are unique to the smallness of this school. Because we are small, 
we are able to take part in all school field days and the tradition of the house system. Each of us is chosen for one of four groups or houses within the school to grow in virtue and friendship. The four houses are named after the four saints who hold up the chair of St. Peter in St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. St. Ambrose, St. Athanasius, St. Augustine, and St. John Chrysostom. Some of the most enlivening events between the houses are our field days. There, we challenge ourselves through fun and healthy games and competitions. The air sounds with chants and cheers, and faces are bright with excitement, and even a little war paint. <laughs> it is during these extraordinary days that we truly open ourselves up and give all we have to build each other up. One field day last year, I stepped outside and summoned my courage to rise to the challenge of being a prefect and cheering on my housemates. That day, I was able to say yes to this duty and cheer on my housemates with the best that I had, but only because I was first won over by their boldness. I felt the closeness of the friendships I had made as I was cheered on as well. I left feeling intense joy and real life within me, joy that came from being known and encouraged by all the other students around me. We are all so united in purpose that every experience is transformed into an opportunity to live a flourishing existence against a hostile culture. The greatest gift that I have received from Chesterton has been a community of faith. Every morning begins with Mass at Holy Trinity Church, an unspeakable gift and the pinnacle of our day. When I walk out of Mass, I see the great joy it brings to those around me. Oftentimes, their conversations are about the Mass. They say such things as, because of this Mass, now I feel like I could do anything. This is because the Mass is our constant source of energy throughout the day. This center of Catholic faith carries on to the other parts of our day as well, bringing life and beauty to everything we do. Sometime recently, I was in art class painting. Everyone was cheerfully at work as warm sunshine poured through the windows to illuminate our colored canvases. Students milled about the room, gathering brushes and asking for advice. Occasionally, they stopped to compliment each other. Someone stopped in front of Hannah's painting and told her how beautiful it was. Maybe it's because I say a Hail Mary every time I begin painting, she said with a smile. This kind of faith comes so naturally to so many at Chesterton. What strikes me is that each one seeks God out in his or her own unique way. They have taken up the call to love Jesus in all things and are living proof that holiness is for everyone. This school has set its foot firmly on the path of the great adventure. Its founding was itself an act of faith. Right, Mr. and Mrs. Bowles and Dr. and Mrs. Tierney? And its fruits profess it as such. I am indebted to this little school for so many blessings, but most of all, for the adventure it has taught me to lead. For I emphasize, we are a family patterned after the Holy Family, and we are leaping, leaping into the arms of Christ. <laughs>